Staying in touch with your community through local news and information is the gift that keeps giving all year long. Subscribe to Inforum now and get 50% off an annual subscription for you or anyone on your list. Just call 833-248-7801. That's 833-248-7801. It was an almost impenetrable copper box inside a cornerstone of Trinity Lutheran Church in Moorhead. Members learned it was a time capsule with surprises from the past. But what did the past want to share? Hi, this is Tracy Briggs and welcome to Back Then. Quick, if someone came to your house right now and asked you to put together a time capsule of your life right now, what would you put inside it? What would you want the people of the future to know about you? Now imagine you're part of a church congregation in the mid-20th century. You've just completed a brand new state-of-the-art education addition to your 50-year-old church. What should you pack up for future members to see? The 2022 Congregation of Trinity Lutheran Church in Moorhead just had the opportunity to find out. Earlier this year, church members uncovered a time capsule they never knew existed, buried deep within the walls of the building. It was found by Jim Cole, a Trinity member, architect, and project manager working on the renovation of the Trinity Preschool. He said, it was back over here on the south side of the building in the corner in the 1949 edition. The 1949 edition, like 2022's preschool project, also focused on children. The parish education edition added classrooms for the 1,000 or so children who attended Trinity. A marker emblazoned with 1949 was engraved on the foundation cornerstone. The airtight, locked-up, solid copper box was tucked into that cornerstone. Cole said, it was just a box. Nothing was written on it. Simon thinks there's a Bible in there, but it's packed pretty tightly, so I think there are other papers in there, too. Simon is Senior Pastor Simon Fensom, who oversaw the opening of the box during a 140th anniversary celebration of the church on December 4th, 2022. He said, we're excited. There's been a lot of anticipation about this. But getting into the time capsule would be no small undertaking. Cole and fellow member Eric Greif, an engineer and chair of the building committee, brought out drills and special sheet metal cutters called tin snips to break into the box that had been sealed for more than 70 years. The congregation watched, drank coffee, and chit-chatted as the men worked to unearth the past. After several minutes, they were finally able to pull back the metal casing to unveil papers. Yearbook and annual reports, okay. 82 to 49. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is. Oh, the smell. Yeah. What does it smell like? Musty. Musty. Cole carefully pulled out each item and passed it to Fensom, who told the congregation what they found. It turns out both men were right. There was a Bible inside, but there were also a lot of other items, including a program from the dedication of the parish education building on December 31st, 1950. That's the day that the time capsule was actually put together. Martin Luther's Catechism the Lutheran Herald, a Concordia hymn book, a 1949 Trinity yearbook, bulletins from Trinity services, and a program from the 1950 Sunday School Christmas program. Really pretty. It was really colorful, much more colorful than the programs we have today. And finally, the Moorhead Daily News and the Fargo Form from December 30th, 1950. Interestingly enough, the Fargo Form's headline had something to do with the Korean War, which at that point was only about six months old. The paper smelled slightly musty, but none the worse for wear. Pretty remarkable when you think about it. The contents of the capsule had been suspended in time inside the wall, while time marched on outside of it. Through wars in Korea, Vietnam, and the Middle East, to the assassination of a president, the Twin Towers coming down, and even a global pandemic. The newspapers, church bulletins, and Bible stayed safe and dry in their 1950 cocoon, even as harsh Minnesota blizzards and torrential summer hailstorms raged just inches away on the other side of the wall. 
The time capsule was also an unknown constant throughout the seasons of the parishioners' lives, surrounding generations of Trinity members as they were baptized, confirmed, married, and held funeral services inside the sanctuary. It was odd to think that as today's parishioners paged through the old newspapers and bulletins, their fingers were the first to touch those papers since the church staff, the Lutheran ladies' aid, and others packed them up inside 72 years ago. Something not lost on Trinity member Mike Cummings as he explained what was happening to his two children, Zoe and Leo. He said, It's great to have a look at the past. I wasn't expecting to have the capsule unearthed here. I wonder if we'll be putting one in our new edition. Fensom said they're already talking about putting a capsule somewhere as they're continuing to renovate the church into the next year. He said, This did inspire us right away when we found out from the architects and builders that they had found the time capsule. We immediately had a conversation that we should do this for the future as we continue our construction. But what will 2023 Trinity members put in their time capsule? Fensom said he would include some kind of letter sharing some vision for the future of the ministry, something that the 1950 time capsule did not include. Fensom said he'd like to share the message of who the people of Trinity are and the role they might be playing in the shaping of our community. He says, I don't know that anything changes. People are still people, and we still need to look to something bigger than ourselves. I was giving the children's sermon this morning, and it really hit me when I said, you guys are the future. That's a trite old saying we always pull out at church. But I was actually thinking that in another 50 or 60 years, how many of you will be here? And more importantly, how many will be out in the world being faithful because you were raised here and this place had an impact on you? Thanks for joining us this week on Back Then. I hope you come back again next week. Get reliable and accurate local news with Inform.com. Inform.com is your trusted local news source with journalists dedicated to keeping you informed about what's happening in your community. Visit Inform.com now.